Well, point six is watching out for you from Salem to Vancouver and Portland. It will still be tough getting around at the beginning of this new work week. Wanted to give you a firsthand look at the roads before you head out. So we have Elise Haas there live in our mobile six vehicle. Elise, I know when I came in, the highways were fine. Where are you guys right now and how do the roads look? Jenny, it has been a morning so far. I don't even have power, so it was just a struggle to get ready, but it is impossible, nearly impossible to get out of my neighborhood. So this is the side streets. And like you mentioned, you know, my photographer is saying on his way in, the main streets are fine, but it's a matter of whether or not you can safely get out of your neighborhood is the real question. And we have been going two miles an hour <laughs> two miles an hour and we still don't feel comfortable. We have tried getting out to put the chains on, but it's so cold out and there's so much snow and ice on the ground that it makes it even more challenging as well. So all of these cars are just kind of surrounded by six inches of ice and snow and it is really, really bad. So if your car is stuck, I would say it's not even worth it. Um, especially if you don't have to go anywhere, but definitely check on your neighbors because I know a lot of people, including myself, are without power right now. And it is just one of those situations where I would just say stay home. It sucks really, really badly. Jenny? Well, uh, how eloquently put, Elise. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I think my neighbors probably hate me because I was out there with the snow shovel at three in the morning trying to get my car out of the driveway. So I, I feel your pain. Oh my Sorry gosh. Sorry about your electricity, <laughs> but you look great and uh, stay safe as you guys drive around. We'll, we'll check back in with you All coming right. up at 5 a.m. Well, we do want to get a look at those power outages that Elise was talking about. You know, Portland General Electric is saying.